So we need to load, we need to load this one. Um, Cause we're gonna do the very ending fight, like working through the, the palace um, to pick the sacrifice yourself option, which we did not pick last night. Um, and then I don't really know what ending E is, like, how to get it, but, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it usually tells you what you need to do, so. Oh, we've got Kaine on the loading screen kicking. Kaine for smash. Oh, you had a rough work day or decompressing. I'm sorry to hear that, Joker. I hope you uh, can chill out here. We've got new outfits. Maybe that'll cheer you up. We're, we're rocking the samurai outfits. Oh my gosh. Look at Emil. All right. You're still waiting for time to tell you whether you fractured your fingers or just broke nerves in your knuckles? Uh, hopefully you didn't fracture them. You're sort of working, but not really. Everyone looks spiffy today. They do. Such an ominous sight. And yet I find it strangely nostalgic. So, yeah. in theory, this there shouldn't... There shouldn't be any new dialogue except for the ending, because we're doing the exact same thing. We just got to fight through. It is slightly annoying that I can't have all my stamps on the same save file. But this does save us a lot of time, so, you know... All right, birds, give me your riddles. Why did you ma? All right. How can I? I bet you you. Well then. All right. Well. Seems the way is open. Did it. <laughs> We're in. All right, can we skip this is the question. <laughs> Hope hey, this mm, even I don't think so. I think we can only skip cutscenes. Wish you No, no. Can I skip this? Yeah. All right. Devil. What's happening? Sorry, but this fate was predetermined. I'm going to try to get through this quick. Um we spoke to truth. Really Since we've literally just, I mean, we've done it four we times now, but we literally just did it uh, Friday Until night. So. What are you talking about? Are they shades? I, I was so. thinking we could, um, we could it. finish yeah. the journal. <laughs> um, you we have time because we didn't technically beat it. We got close. Path? You have but. no cause to speak so with us, Glimoire Vice. You are a traitor. So what everyone have for dinner today? Oh, now? oh I can skip this too. They right. copied my powers. Oh no, they copied your powers. How will we ever defeat? Of course. You got a deli sandwich? What kind of what kind of deli sandwich? You were simply alone a small Which they take out the damage shield in these fights, you'd cut through them like butter, I know. are you alright? Especially because we've already seen it. Like it'd be different if it was new dialogue, like totally fine. But or like an option maybe to skip the dialogue 
Uh, that would work, I think. Turkey and Swiss and Swiss <laughs> on Dutch crunch bread. Ooh, I do the like a turkey to sandwich. Lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. Shh, 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 go away. <laughs> go away, Popola and Devola. Devola and hey, Crab. Yes, they do seem to be We're speed running our way through. Hello. Nope, I can't skip this. <laughs> you okay, boys? How odd. The long years you made a burger, Game Freak? Have been my greatest assets. But Sounds good. Seems to be... <laughs> well, Vice? Do not look at me like that. I am Grimoire Vice. I am perfect with... I've been wondering as I've been watching your playthrough, where's everyone else's grimoires? There's only two in existence. I think I hear a waltz. We've got we've got Vice and Noir, I think is the other one's name. Your dinner was a very unexciting roasted chicken and a potato. I mean good for you not good for you but like it's good for you we actually went out um early it for dinner for my birthday affair. on saturday and i had a nice summer salad with like strawberries in it so that was pretty bastards. good they're all shades <laughs> Oh like no. I was planning to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for that. Lo they locked us in. What will we do? Oh, there's three grimoires? Where's the other one? Oh, thanks, Joker. It was very good. Oh, I'm going to use a strength drop. Oop. I'm going to use a strength drop. Since they're just, you know, going to give us more. Might as well. Sir, could you? One book he fought in Emil's house. Oh, right, right, right. Took me a second. I, okay, I forgot about the mansion. I was thinking about the um, this facility. I was like, we fought a book in the facility? I don't remember. But yeah, I remember fighting the book in the mansion. What's that one's name? Does that one have a name? This guy was so excited when he spawned in, only to be immediately murdered. If these shades are souls, I get, so they're like the, the dancing ghosts? How does that work? How are they ghosts? Like in this form. The Emil heads kill me. That's so funny. Don't stop coming. I'll open the next door. Cover me. Oh, how I do love a good dance. Boys. Hmm. Sit oh, down. Right. Protect the hussy. Yes. Good. Plan. Right, let's go. <laughs> I'm not gonna read the dialogue because we've already done that. Hurry! Uh, it's not open yet. Do I look like a goddamn locksmith? No 
You idiots, what are you doing? Lock doesn't want to open? Fine. Okay. I'll just break it down. Stop, you impatient fool. Goddamn no good bullshit bastard! Open the fuck up already! Ugh! Got it. Kaine, look out! Just skip that. All right, the babies. It might be easier to just, yeah. We'll just do this. Just, you know, casually murdering babies. Don't think about it. Why does everything shoot at mealheads? Because um, I, it, it's DLC. <laughs> They're just shooting like, uh, I don't know, missiles or laser or whatever. But <laughs> I have the DLC on, so <laughs> they're shooting at mealheads. We need to help Kaine. No, wait, where's Kaine? Oh, she's on ground. You okay? Yeah. Well, we got problems. The grimoires were soldiers. Probably teens. Probably like child soldiers. Trained to fight the white chlorinated soldiers and red eye. Once red eye was killed, they were put in a room with books and told to kill each other with magic until three were left. I think the books consumed them and they became the grimoires we know. I okay. <laughs> That's not what I would have expected, but I mean, what do you what do you, what can you expect? We don't need forgiveness, asshole. I guess it depends on if they age because Grimoire Vice does not seem like a teenager. It seems like Wait a second. Wait a second. You're at least 40. Different. It ain't hatred. And it ain't sadness. What's going on is Who knows? How should I know? Kaine, are you alright? I'm fine. Let's just kill some shit and move on, alright? Interesting. He does sound like an edgy oh, team. <laughs> Damn shit. Hi Splinter. This guy looks familiar. We just fought him on Friday. Oh yeah. We're just <laughs> We're just doing the end so that we can uh pick the other option which is sacrifice ourselves for Kaine so we're gonna do that and then go into the final ending so hopefully it won't take us too long to do that um to get to ending e i don't know how long that one will take i don't know if we're gonna have to replay time skip like we did the other the other times i don't know uh, we just have to sit here and wait <laughs> Stay focused, just, just gotta sit here and wait. <laughs> Don't fall victim to such distractions. Come on, we have to keep going. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Wait, is there a door? Is the door open? No. This is where we have to wait for them, right? Oh no, door open. Okay, bye. Okay, so we gotta run away from him. Then later is when King, King, whose name we never learn shows up now i up still here. don't know how they get so far ahead of me here it makes no sense no don't show don't show up let me keep running i know he's there i'm just i'm just gonna ignore him for now please hurry if you guys hadn't left me behind get up
There's probably like 16 or 500 rules about how the king must be renamed king. Damn it, I can't get it open. Attack incoming. Oh, geez. The entrance is locked too. It seems we are in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> You were curious on endings, okay. Really sucks if you're named after your profession. Imagine becoming construction worker or something. I mean, if you're a plumber and they just call you like toilet unclogger. Like you're any different. Hate is just another crush. That's your name. You're in pain, you're lonely, no one likes you. So you try to hide it under violence and hate. I'm not my dad at all. It's okay. I'm the same way. But just realizing that isn't going to help. It's too late for us now. It's too late for everything. Okay, I'm reading what Tim has said, and I'm reading what Chad is responding, and I feel like... I feel like Tim is trying to be... I feel like tr Tim is trying to be helpful to me as the streamer, and I feel like Chad is trying to not... Be nice. I think Tim was just concerned that we would have to start over uh, and replay the whole game in ending E, which I would absolutely want to know if that were the case. I think that was what Tim was concerned about. Because if we had to start over from like before time skip, that's absolutely something I would want to know. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> so this pulls a uh, what is that eternal darkness is that the game where it like fakes you out with like glitches or something <laughs> what are you doing here Hey, Alistair Crazy. Thank you for the raid. You are correct. Well, you don't want to surprise replay the entire game for the next three months? No, I would definitely want to know that. If we had to replay from the beginning, I would absolutely want to know that. And, and may or may not have said fuck it. <laughs> Hope you had a good stream with Arkham Origins. We're we're uh, getting more endings in here, <laughs> as you do. Well, I think you replay till you reach Kainen, and then goes into the real route E. Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> I know you guys would have been like, yeah, Akita's going to freak out about this, but Akita would have said fuck it and would have stopped playing. So you guys would have had to tell me anyway. Because I would have just been like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not replaying the entire thing for ending E. It's just not happening. <laughs> Basically, you start over, but nothing matters. So you just speed run the main story until you get Kaine. Okay. And then we'd have a Hades 2 stream. Yep, probably. <laughs> It'd be like, well. <laughs> Your reaction would have been fun, though. I don't know that it would have been fun. I'm not sure that's true. Because I remember being irritated by the end of Nier Automata. Uh, 
And like, I'm actually like, I was not having the end of Automata. And I remember just having a horrible time with it and like really um, kind of regretting doing all the endings. And I think maybe if I had known what I was getting into, I would have been, I would have had a better time. No. Nothing like but you. because I didn't know, and also I was struggling with one part with 2B where like you have to, she's like all damaged and you have to like get her to somewhere and I couldn't figure out where to go. Ugh. And then like having to suddenly play as 9S and then like, I don't know. And I remember when I finally got the true ending, I was like, that was not worth it at all. So I was like, I kind of ended Automaton like with a sour taste in my mouth. So I'd rather not do that with this one. <laughs> Please don't do this, Popola. You and Devil were like. Do you have to do the entire game over and over in Automata, huh? I mean, kind of like. It's it's also such a change in gameplay when you change characters, and it's not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just I was not ready for it, and. It's the only way. I was a little cranky about it. So I think if if this was like, yeah. Uh you you have to play completely from the start again, I would have been like, no, we're not dealing with that. No stopping. No stopping ever. <laughs> It's not fun. I was stressed when it happened to me. I had a message primed to copy paste explaining what happens for when we did ending D. <laughs> All right, it's gonna show us this. Just gonna, we're just gonna skip. When I first read what happened, I was like, he will not be doing this, but I did it and it's not as bad as it seems. That's good. But if I hadn't known, I definitely probably wouldn't be doing it. No, I can't it's skip because it's, yeah, it's, no, it's technically the first time. So, so do we start a whole new game then after this one? Or do we have to... Oh my god, I just understood why it deletes your save. It's like meta commentary because you're sacrificing yourself. So it's like you're erasing yourself. Is that what it's supposed to mean? Anyway... Uh, yeah, do we have, do we continue C or do we do a new one? It's his entire existence. So the, does that mean it like deletes people's memories of him? It's very meta. I'm not surprised though, knowing this <laughs> series. <laughs> You'll start a new game. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. We don't have time to be sad. There's no time to be sad. We must go. Yeah, that's fair antics. Yo! Yo! Finally! Attack power? I think I have that. Oh my gosh, we're going from 15 to 30. Yes, please.
You can try to name the new character Scummy? I can try. Okay, I'll try. The word rate pull is stupidly bad. The word rate pull is wild because you can literally get like 8% and 30% back to back. There's no order for it or progression. It's just random. But yeah, if you were trying to get all of them, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> because um, that would, that's, a, that's a rough time. Of all the terrible RNG in this game, the words are the worst. Yeah, like anything, any kind of drops that you need to get in this game for any reason is just kind of... A pain. <laughs> we were we were pretty lucky with the black pearl, uh, and also the the egg wasn't too bad once we did the DLC. Hey, book. All right, so I gotta stop skipping now. <laughs> I should, should actually watch the cutscenes. Well, I think we can skip maybe the next one. How can a mere tool hope to stand against the Shadow Lord? That voice always catches me off guard. Every like time. You. Book burner. Why did I get a trophy for that this time? Be careful. I know. Hey, sunshine. I ain't certain this, but I think your heart is evolved. Cutscene should be the same until Kine fight. Okay. Good. It's just a bunch of white light. Excuse you, sir? What the hell's going on here? Excuse you, me? You can't tell, Tyler. You're not the only voice in my life anymore. I've experienced fear, hate, and my sympathy. <laughs> Merge the books, just do it. I mean, they were definitely kissing earlier, so. But guess what? He still accepts me. He still forgives me. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. You're doing this for him? I'm tired of this world. And everybody in it. But I'll become his sword one last time. The 90 second speed run of this fight, I got most of these end fight ones during my D run because the cutscenes times. The cutscene times count. Speed run? Oh, is that what that trophy was for? Nice. You alright? Naturally. I am as fit as a fit. That's interesting. I didn't know there were trophies for doing the fights quickly. Makes sense. No, 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 no. Lock on. Sir. Hold still. So we should be able to skip this. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. Watch over Yoda for me. I want me to understand your sadness. Think I'm gonna sympathize with you? I swore to protect my sister and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they will stand aside or be cut down. Now come on. Come on. Come on. Let's come on. This. Get down here. Come on. Come on. Thank you. That is not what I meant to hit. What's wrong? You're freaking me out here, Vice. I can't believe the cutscenes count for speedrunning. I have something to defend. I 
have a reason to live. Shut up. Destroy the world saving tome within 1.5 minutes is what it is. Oh, okay. Thanks, Tim. Can't believe someone wants <laughs> to speed run this game. I mean, I feel like we just did. <laughs> Doing all the endings. Feels kind of like a speed run to me. The once and final king. Is that another kill him quick? <laughs> well, ain't that precious. Oh, okay. I'm happy for him. Okay, I think I can skip this and just fight, and then I have to make the choice afterwards. I'm gonna okay. swallow you up, sunshine. Kaine? Listen, this is All right. <laughs> I like her in that outfit. Me too, Crab. I think it looks really cute. The meal is gone. All right. What is the other outfit we so get for doing the journal? No the last journal me. thing. Please. Before it comes to that, I want you to kill me. You couldn't figure out why you weren't getting them for the second Devila and Popola fight because they die as soon as the plot armor is gone. Did you ever figure out why? Maybe there's a third fight. Or you fight them differently. Oh, I got all the outfits? Okay. Then we'll stick with the samurai ones for... I'm assuming we can use them at the start. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to do that. Ow. Ow. Well, hell, sunshine. Ow. It's not like I can oh, you had to skip the cutscene where when with Popola like, gotcha. They lose their minds. I don't... Both I wasn't paying attention. Did I get a trophy? Kaine! She's in a Pokeball. Damn it. I have to do something. Yeah, well, we can't really, but, you know. I'll never run. This is all I got, Kaine. Made it this far because He's getting hit in the face with balls. I'm who I am today because of you. I'm not going to give up on you. Scummy's giving this beautiful speech as he's getting hit in the face with balls. I'm gonna save you. I swear it. Just bonking all around. There we go. <laughs> okay. What I said. Ow. Listen. Ow. There's a way to save Kaine's yeah, as you do. Right. Yeah, as you do. But you're gonna have to make when you're monologuing, decision. getting hit in the face of balls. Do whatever it takes. When the time comes, I'm going to pin Kaine down. And as soon as I do, you need to stab her in the heart. Here's a question. No, do I get any of my gear? When we restart? Stand around with your thumb up your ass and watch your time. I mean, in theory, it. no, but. Pretty sure it's a fresh file. Uh huh. I worked hard for my upgrades. Heard it counts as you get plus. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't want to be a weakling again. I'm trying to stop doing backflips and trying to save your life. From what I remember, it's surprisingly fast. That is Very surprising. Nice. Now, All right, I'm if not going to skip this. Your precious Kine, there are two ways to do it. 
One is to plunge your sword into her chest. Yep, did that. That's what she wants after all. Freedom from burdens, freedom from life. What's the other way? The other way is to make her a normal human being. <laughs> he looks again. small in that armor. Crap. It's ill fitting. Happen, it was Dad Near's armor. Your own existence for hers. Well, there you go. Good luck with that. Hear that shade? The one who lives inside Kaine. Why are you trying to help her? Probably for the same reason you are. Enough talk. Make your choice. Right. It's a blinding area. Sacrifice your own existence to make Kaine human again. Disappear from this world. Your sister, your friends. Everything oh, it does. It does kind of hint a little bit what it's gonna you do. And any sign that you ever existed <laughs> will be erased. But in exchange, kind of return to her mortal life. Love how dramatic this choice is, right? I mean, it does. Like, it makes sense. Oh, okay. So it does tell you. I thought this was going to be a situation where um it didn't tell you and it would like it was going to try to fake you out as like your uh system crashed or something. I thought it was going to be something like that. All right. Yes. Even if you elect against it this time you can always return to the selection by clearing the game again. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to get through all that shit again. Are you sure? I'm sure. All save data will be erased, so you can only choose this option once. Are you really sure about this? Yeah. This is your last chance to change your mind. Are you really, really sure about this? Yeah. Enter the name of the plot to be erased. What if I don't put his name in there? I'm assuming it wants the name of the... Well... What if you put in a different name? His full legal name is Scumbag. <laughs> it doesn't just do it, but it doesn't tell you how to get to E. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad it warns you, because I definitely thought that it wasn't going to. Scammy! <laughs> if the rest of the game is anything to go off of, it probably game over as you. Look, I would love to do that for the lulls, but I am too scared of having to replay this whole thing again. So. <laughs> I love that Scummy is just now in the, the PlayStation's memory. Um, Yeah, I don't want it to be like, ha, game over, and then have to redo that, so. <laughs> Scummy is greater than Spidey on this PS5. The correct name was entered. What if you put in, like, Yona? <laughs> what if you put in Yona? <laughs> After all that, you delete Yona from existence. <laughs> all save files would be erased. All right. Oh my gosh. This is gonna go through my inventory. <laughs> Gideon! <laughs> Yona's already dead after falling out the building anyway. What if you put in Vice? Vice is kind of also dead. That would be funny if they're like, stop, they're already dead. I'm very curious now, but it would absolutely not be worth it if I had to go through and do this all again. I love how they're deleting, like, fishing records and shit. Tutorials.
I hope Kaine is going to take care of Yona because... <laughs> Not my fishing logs that I never filled. I love that it just it just deletes all of them. I guess hope you weren't you didn't have two save files like if somebody else was playing on your PS5. We fail to save Kaina and she turns into a shade anyways and eats our sister. <laughs> Like, what if Eco was playing his own file? Are you all right? Yona? It was you. The one who helped me, I mean. Wasn't it? She's like, I guess. I don't, I don't fucking know what's going on. Who are you? Thank you so much. I'm glad you're okay. Where's Yona's samurai outfit? What's wrong? Huh? I mean, you defeated the Shadow Lord and everything, but you... You don't look happy. I don't? This is a lunar tear. How pretty. I guess Kaine is just her mom now. Are you crying? Um, yeah. I guess I am. It ended like this in the original because Route like E is new. I just found Hi, Lucy. Special. Something very special. This was in the original? Okay. So so this was like the real ending? So you're saying that E was added on? Ending E is new to this game. Okay, well... D used to be the original trending. Okay, but if Scummy deletes himself... I guess that doesn't delete the Shadow Lord. So humanity is still fucked? And Kaine thinks she did it? Is that? <laughs> is that? Of course it was in a novel. Of course it was. Technically, ending E was in a novel. Okay. Kind of just very confused. Kind of defeated the Shadow Lord in her memories. Well, that's a lot to take on. I do think it's funny that the original canon ending is just scummy being erased. Which, you know, kind of follows the lore of the Scum family because Scummy's ancestor in Fire Emblem Three Houses was also erased.
His name was Scum Lad, if you recall. His son, Scum Boy, uh, ended up taking on his mission. But then who did she beat up after Emil died? I mean, she was just, I guess, just throwing punches into the air. Thought Scum Lad married his grandma daughter? Oh, wait, no. Scum Boy, I think, was the one who was deleted. Scum Lad was his son. See, it's, you never know in Fire Emblem. They can, you, you never know. Yeah, Scum Lad ended up marrying his, his grandma <laughs> slash daughter. <laughs> what route was that? That was church route. Um, so basically, I started a file got several hours in and then realized I didn't use my the correct file for New Game Plus. So I was like, fuck it. So we literally restarted. <laughs> so yeah, Scum Boy got deleted and Scum Lad took his place. And I think that was the birth of the Scum family. I think that was the first Scum. And then we had Scum Dad in Awakening scummy here there was another scum somewhere I forget which game but yes it's it's quite the family oh yeah but then spoilers scum lad married Rhea so I remember waking up at 4am to go to the bathroom turn my monitor on and yep still going yeah I think it ended up being like I don't know. It was a really long stream. <laughs> I was going to say Persona, but that was Jonker. Yeah, Persona, our Persona protagonist was Jonker Star. He's not part of the Scum family, thankfully for him. I heard you talking about you marrying Rhea during the run you did with the cat. Yes, that was, that was church route, so... If you want to see the adventures of Scum Lad. The origins of the Scum family. If we ever get around to doing Conquest, uh, Chat did vote on having male Corrin, so he'll be a Scum. Some form of Scum. I was kind of thinking Cornelius Scummington. If we ever do that, I feel like that's. He's got to have corn in his name somewhere. Corn really needs shoes. Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. So do several, uh, several Fire Emblem characters really need shoes. Just wondering what the scum timeline looks like. Who is the first scum? How does it all connect? I mean, I think Scum Boy was the first Scum. Even though um, this game came out first, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. The Scum Cinematic Gaming Universe. <laughs> Man, we should do. We should do. We should do a run of Mass Effect and do uh, Male Shepherd and do Scum Shep. <laughs> Yeah, Scumboy was the first. Scumlad was Alton Universe, but also Scumboy's son. Oh, we could have a Scum Baldur's Gate character. I mean, the 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 possibilities are endless because the Scum family just permeates time and space. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Thanks for playing. I deleted all your saves, you fucker. <laughs> Is Scummy a descendant of Scumboy and Rhea then? You know, I'm going to go with probably. I feel like if anybody's going to destroy the world, it's going to be the spawn of Rhea. So, yeah, I would say so. I think Scum Dad might actually, like, canonically, like, in the timeline, come before Scum Boy. Um, but he had amnesia, so he didn't remember his son. <laughs> so the menu is different. Okay. Yes, it is. 
press any button. I am pressing a button. All right, so let, let's just hit continue what happens. All right, no data. I'm assuming it's going to save the outfits. I don't think we need to. I guess I'll check. I assume this scum must be the last because he destroys humanity. Good job, scummy. Well, he uh, he didn't have any kids, so he's. I think he's the last scum. Oh, it changed it back. Yo, it got rid of them. Fuck you. Well, now I'm cranky. You took my you took my outfits. Fine, we're doing these. Will there be a scum bot if you play a robot protagonist? R scum bot or robo scum, probably. I remember being pissed about that because how are you supposed to see the boys' outfits? Yeah. That stings little scum in the armor would have been funny. <laughs> Ooh, scum droid is a good one. That sounds like um, uh, one of those, like, from Animal Crossing. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so we got to do a new game. Okay, what happens if we try to name him Scummy? Will it let me? For some reason, that name cannot be used. All right. Oh yeah, gyroids. I couldn't think of that word. Thanks, nightmarish. Yeah, that sounds like a scummy gyroid. <laughs> okay. So scummy has been erased. So what is this alternative name? For scummy. Should we do like IE? Yona! <laughs> that. We could try Yona. You wanna try Yona? Okay. Yona. Okay, it'll let us do that, I think. So, are we are we going to be Yona? <laughs> Would Scumboy be a scum descendant of Morgans or Pawns? You're also forgetting Oh, well, I guess you said Pawn. We're just forgetting her son. Probably Morgan. Morgan's a little shit. Scumma? Skuna. This is. <laughs> there has been no one named Just Scum. Hold on. No. Oh, display keyboard. There we go. All right. What about Yona Scum? Skona to sound more like you. <laughs> Yona Scum. <laughs> now it's like Scum is their last name. So was his name Scummy Scum? Probably. The snow won't stop falling. So Yona Scum said he'd stay here with me until it stops. I'll probably leave again when it does. So I kind of hope it snows forever. <laughs> this is just gonna be confusing yona and yona scum oh my gosh i forgot this part
This is like playing I am Setsuna, naming everyone Setsuna. <laughs> I think what happened is Scummy got deleted from the timeline and it really messed everything up. So now we ended up with Yona Scum. Because it's just, it's confused everything. The timelines are merging. 2053. Summer. Guys, aren't you looking forward to 2053? Maybe Yona Scum is the OG Shadow Lord version of Scummy. Oh. You pulled some shit like Bioshock Infinite and just erased every version of the character from all timelines. I mean, you're not wrong, Splinter. All the way back at the start of Twitch Miss, yep. Look, baby. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. Since we're going backwards, does this mean Dragon Guard 3 next eventually? <laughs> Yona it is I, Yona scum. But what about those monsters? Are they... Are they gonna come back for me? The snow here is implied to be salt by the people I dying from the disease. Near you. Oh, the white chlorination? <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. that book not ever got it it's smut it's pure smut it. don't look at it damn how many of these things are there just keep coming. So we're seeing question marks at the bottom. I'm assuming that's the shades talking. Like you lay a finger on Yona. <laughs> Noir has Noir <laughs> and Vice fan fiction written inside him. <laughs> Power. 
But why didn't you take the book I to begin to with? Protect Yona. The power of smut. Punch. Were they in the building anyways? Uh, I assumed they were hiding from the shades, but... I don't know. Stay away from my sister. Dark hand, how many use that in forever? Let anyone hurt Yona. You think people would be banding together? You would think, but I don't know like how many people are left. So it's not starting me, it's not starting me at my level, but I don't know if that's just for this part. I mean, we're leveling up pretty fast though. So I don't, I don't know. Not technically scummy, so it's probably just this part. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I am. Were we leveling up this fast before, though? For this bit, yeah. Okay. Parts are level separate. Okay. Makes sense. I guess it just felt fast. But it's also been a long time since we did this. So. Yeah, because they want to show off spells. That makes sense. I forgot the spear spell was even in the game until you did ending E. Really? I use that one a lot. I like Dark Lance.
Oh, the spears that rise out of the ground. Gotcha. Yeah, that one I just didn't ever use. So yeah, I'm with you there. I also forgot about that one. Oh my god. <laughs> Execution is good to spam finishing moves since the enemies fall on the ground after. That makes sense. Yona, talk to me. Talk to me, okay. Yona Scum. Fine. What about you? Ah, those guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way, look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow, is that a cookie? Here, we can split it. No, you take it. No, you need to eat too. Fine, I'll take the small half. No. Come on. You need to keep up your straight. <laughs> Yona! Yona! Oh no. I'm sorry. I dropped the baby. I didn't mean to. Yona? Why did you? A very old cookie, yeah.
well, you know, 1,412 years later. <laughs> All right, I'm heading out. <laughs> if you could wish for any cookie to eat, what kind would it be? Today? Hmm. Better not. I'm probably going hunting. <sighs> okay. But I'll bring you back a book from the library, okay? Yay! Thanks! I'll see you later. Try and get some rest. Um, love you. You're not gonna say it back? <laughs> Scum. Alright, so we're back to level one. We do have these weapons. So, we could just switch. I should go to the library and see what Popola's up to. But yeah, any cookie. Um, so I had one that was like strawberry. Um, I think it was like strawberry, either strawberry lemonade or like strawberry basil, something like that. That was actually very good. It was like filled. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do the middle, because I didn't use that one yet. Yona Scum's Village. Wait, did it say total playing time? It did. Um there's one in Disney World that's really good. It's um I think it's in Germany, in Epcot. It's like I'd have to look it up. It's like a cookie sandwich. Um, and I think it's actually between like two ginger cookies, which I normally don't really like. Um, but it had, I wanna say like a caramel something in the middle. I would have to look it up, but it was really good. Eco and I got it the last time we went to Disney. So I might pick that one or, or the strawberry one. Um, I've also had a really good s'mores cookie. Oh my god, what? Um, let me look up a description of it if I can find, if I can do that real quick while we're running up to see Popola. So there's a, there's a shop that has like Worthers, <laughs> like lots of Worthers. Um, and it was in there. They had a bakery case. Um, it's called, oh gosh, I can't pronounce it. It's called like Caramel Kusha. That's probably wrong, but it just means Caramel Kitchen. Um, and let me look at the menu. So they have like all, like everything is Werther's. Um, so if you like caramel, like... You, there's so much. Let's see. Okay, so it's the caramel snickerdoodle cookie sandwich, I believe. So it's two Werther's original caramel filled snickerdoodle cookies layered with salted caramel buttercream frosting and caramel drizzle. I'm pretty sure it's that one. So, yeah, I would recommend if you ever go to Disney World. <laughs> uh, it was really great. And again, I'm not a huge fan of snickerdoodles usually, but, like, that was so good. Eco and I both loved it, so. I would, I might, I might go for that one. Good morning. How's Yona doing today? Her cough's still pretty bad. Mm, that's worrisome. I know. Look at the chonker of a health bar. Better, but... 
The display case alone looks delicious. Oh my gosh, it's, yeah, they have so many good stuff and like so much good stuff. And I even initially, I got an apple, I'm pretty sure I got like an apple cookie because I, lo I love apple desserts. Um, and then Eco got the cookie sandwich to try. And uh, I mean, the cookie sandwich like blew it out of the water. It was I amazing. Know. I feel like I'm failing her. And I think around holiday time, they have a different version of it. But I've never been there around the holiday time because, like, super crowded. Um, but I've heard that they have a holiday version. Oh, stop that. You are the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, yeah, your name is Jonas. I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I got a request from someone in the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the northern plains. Got oh, it. no, we have to murder... Since Murder sweet plains, animals. Let me give you a map. Trust me. Thanks. Oh, and one Is there thing. anything new here Would that like, like new dialogue that I need to medicinal herbs from the I used here's Hope well, consider here. it's okay. Nope. Okay. So I'm assuming until you said until we meet Kaine. Thanks, Paul. Just we <laughs> Just speed run the story. Okay. Thank you. Only problem it's that the Florida ones still need to actually make it to the Anaheim one. What's she doing here? Hey, Yona. Yo oh, yo I'm s I just look, you you I anyway. You get kind of the fight with the big guy in the airy. Oh yes, the airy, everyone's favorite place. Did you ever get all my weapons back? People say the world is dying. Populations can Well, we're just gonna skip over that. People say the world is dying. You'd think there'd be something where Yonas come as deja vu. I mean it's possible. Oh, do we really have no quest log yet? All right. <laughs> People say the world is dying one day. I'm going to make it happen. When the first shades appear, could you avoid attacking for a minute for a small detail? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. One change that kind of gives some of it away is you still have access to the arena DLCs for some reason. Hmm, that was wool. That's not what we need. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that one made a horrible noise. I better get. All right, so that's done. Shades doing so close to town. Oh, are they just not going to attack me? Hi. Hmm. What if I just don't fight them? Just gonna leave. I can't just let him go. Oh, we have to protect the village and Yona. It's gonna make me kill them. All right, well, they were peaceful, but you know, Yona scum is having none of that, just like the alternate gummy. <laughs> I 
Jonas come started killing kids early. I had no idea shades were loose so close to the village. Why are you like automatically killing them though if they're not doing anything? Like, why did you just immediately go to kill them? Like, who started that? Was it us? <laughs> this is where he discovered his taste for blood. The earliest hint that the shades aren't evil, and you can skip it because they look scary. Also, because, you know, you're playing a video game, so you're assuming peace anymore. Time to get this that you to need to fight them. That's interesting. It does make me wonder who, like, why they just started killing them right away. Here's that mutton you wanted. Oh, thank you. You wouldn't believe how popular this stuff has been lately. Oh, and this isn't much, but I'd like you to have it. And tell Popola I said thanks, okay? You got it. The prologue showed them hunting Shadow Lord and Ghost Yona. Yeah, that too. So you think, obviously you think they're evil because you had to fight them in the prologue. All right, go back to Popola. I delivered the mutton. Oh, and here's your herbs. Great. That should help with the food shortage. And thanks for the herbs, too. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Is, it, is this room open? Can we look in here? I guess it's locked. Nope. Okay. Whoop. All right, we'll head back home. Yona will fall on her face again. Ah, uh, didn't you miss that? Oh, I can't jump down from here. Well, fine. Need that bit of Yona falling as your phone background. Welcome home. How did cut? I just so that's how you hit put a shirt. Good night. The next morning. Okay, I'm off to Popolis. See you later, and please stay okay. Stay out of trouble. How quickly can we get to the airy? We need to get Vice first, probably. Hey, Popola. I do. I'm sh aren't. Well, you know the little. The one. Exactly. Wait. Yes, I know. One of. I'll go take. If you're up, I'll be. I'm a heck. Oh, anyway. Yep. <laughs> 
Good talk. Boop. Vice, a first trip. First trip to the airy. The junk heap, second trip to the airy, I think. Okay. shade by the bridge are we talking this one or are we talking that one hmm small one okay I don't have Dimitri anymore Same thought. Sadly, we have to run everywhere now. <laughs> like a common noob. That's right. There's no red bag man to bury us around. No Dimitri either. So I guess if you didn't know about ending E, you just would have been like, well, that's it and my game was erased. <laughs> I'm oh popo I oh what go oh what I uh she you ex she's don't but she yeah thanks the only reason I knew about E was because I looked up how to get C and D it didn't really tell you you could speed run this either no I mean, ending D does seem pretty final, so I probably would have just been like, oh, okay, that's where it ends. It just shattered his ankles. Especially since the achievement title is just a random string of text. Yona? Where'd she go? Maybe she... Damn it, Yona. <laughs> 
stopped playing the original during Route B because I thought the only difference was Shade's talk. LOL, no way I'd be doing this. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's here. I'd better go ask. Oh my god, Yona. Don't want to work tomorrow, but I must. Oh, good night, Splinter. See you later. Hey, you. She stopped. Did she? I told. What? Was yes. Uh, then we you. I. I. Ha What's the? Through. Got it. Damn it, Yona. <gasps> oh, that cookie talk. So I got a cookie, uh, Lucy. What kind I have of cookie? To get to the eastern gate. Wait, that's not the right one. A chocolate chip Costco cookie. Is it good? Oh, I forgot to mention also there is a cookie place in Disney Springs called Gideon's. And uh, they have an Oreo cookie that is really good. I think it's called Cookies and Cream maybe, but... What's that? Yona's ribbon. Can I wear it? I can't believe... Oh my gosh, everyone's been influenced to either buy or eat cookies. Man, we have to take the long way since we don't have the we don't have the boat. Look at this rock slide. There's no way Yona could have made it past here. Maybe she found some other way in. Hmm. How do you know what Yona is capable of? You think red bag couple are fighting right now? I do think that. Hop up here. This way. Maybe? Oh god. You know what? No, let me jump! Let's talk about cookies. Makes me want to eat something sweet, but I ran out. Oh. Yeah, good question, Joker. Couldn't tell you.
locked. Why are you locked? I'm coming, Hilda. Oh. Who locked it? Shades here too. She'll never make it out of here. Okay, so far I've not had to move these dumb boxes. <laughs> but we'll see. So far, so good. That's not. It's not really helpful. these rooms so many times. Oh. 
Okay. Looks like you can get outside. Let's go. Let's get my annoying book. the block. Interesting that are there that there are scrape marks on the ground. Hmm. It's as if the block has been pushed like this before. That lo I Shut up. I know. weapon over here? Is there just no block over here? Let's go. So I assume we're not going to see what the shade is saying this time. Yoda! What is it with these things? Well, <sighs> then Yoda, by the heavens, I have never been treated in such a manner. I am a being of incalculable importance. And yet, you approach me as a common cockroach. Well... Say something! Oh no! Yoda! This is why I loathe dealing with people. People loathe dealing now, with you. Here, I admire your pluck. One young man going it alone against impossible odds. Come on, Yoda! But such a plan is incredibly foolish. You stand in the presence of ancient wisdom. I am a text of the darkest, most arcane type, and I could be of great assistance to you. You're a what? 
Indeed, I could swat these mindless creatures like mere flies were I so inclined. <laughs> I am Grimoire Can you Vice. just... My very name... Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I there. didn't know I could make him so shut up. We save Yona. Once I destroy these shades, the magic barrier preventing your passage should simply disappear. You can really do that? <laughs> I am Grimoire Vice. My very name brings kingdoms to their knees. Mm, I don't know about that. Then do it already, Vice! You will refer to me by my full and proper name. Just keep coming. You should not have turned your blades on So we never needed him. We could have just killed the shades. I mean. With a single word, I, Grimoire Vice, shatter the very universe itself. Now, prepare to... Prepare to... Uh, uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear? It seems that the frantic bludgeoning you gave me earlier has caused my memory to escape me. They didn't really protect him very well, did real? they? If we were able you to get through that... As you claim to be. Uh, did you just suck the blood out of those things? So he's a vampire. Okay. Is this my memory? You all right, Vice? So can Vice you? is just Twilight, is what you're telling me. Let's see if I can regain my powers by defeating these monsters. Is this magic? magic you should have known indeed. all along. This he's just as pretentious as Edward. Hold on, Yona. I'm coming. Is... Is that all of them? <laughs> Not enough glitter. I wish. <sighs> Howdy. So this is Hansel and Gretel, right? Our task is going to be more difficult. But we only ever see Gretel after this, I think. Still, dealing with both of them at once may prove to be a daunting task. Their walk cycles are incredible. A talking book and moving statues? Really? This is all too real, lad. Keep your sword high. It's no, I was just gonna leave it on the ground. That sounds bad. Enemies with such barriers are impervious to both weapons and magic. Like I said, bad. That said, the enemy cannot move so long as the barrier is in place. Focus your attacks on the other. Stay calm. The man who keeps his head in a fight is the one who emerges victorious. Can you lock onto the right dodge, one, please? You fool! What are you doing? I told you to dodge! They changed again? Watch their blades at all costs. I'm on it. Now, put it out of its misery. Um. Shots, then finish it off. 
I've got my hands full just dodging. Is this more of your power? It would seem so. Are you sure you know what you're doing? His butt is his weakness. Now is your chance. Attack with all your might. Imagine Yona waking up at that moment face to face with almost death. The giant orb from the area is called Wendy? Might be a Peter Pan reference, huh? So Hansel stays dead. They are not but a horde of faceless minions. But Gretel is alive after the time skip. That's why she's so upset, yeah? Focus on the small ones first. He already did, shut up. Yeah. Gretel just hangs out next to the body for five years, apparently. Well. Gretel survived that, but Yoda. sure. Well, we're out of there. Shit. When the weird the then Yeah. <gasps> Come. Come. Have a nice sleep, Yona. So now that we have Vice, we can do the journal thing, which is interesting. This is so unfair. Yona, why? Right. She's just a little kid. She doesn't deserve this. Hey, Trunks. How are you? I heard about. Can anything be done for I Yona? Heard... I don't know. What is the be? Th 
What's that? It was. How is that? How is it that Yona was napping on also an elevator to the Shadow Lord's castle, which is apparently a fortress with a ballroom and a high rise with buildings beside it? How does no one notice? It's a great question. Today, Popola sent me a new book about a great big tree. Ugh. Don't remind me of that place. I'm doing well, Trunks. Can anything be done for Yona? Do we need to go back? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, are we just supposed to talk to Devola? Hello. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Uh, wait. Hold. Uh, yeah. The Song of the Ancients. It's an old tomb that's been passed down through generations of villagers. It's in a forgotten language. Do you know what it means? Well, it's not like I studied it or anything. There's this terrible black book that shows up and starts spreading disease all over the place. But then this white book appears and saves the... What is it? Uh, so how exa... It's just a... Oh. Aw, don't be sad. Hmm. Look, that's a good idea. A white book, a black book, and a disease. Is something the matter? No, I was just thinking. I heard about Yona. Well, maybe you can help. Wait, is that Grimoire Vice? You finally. Yes, well, this. She just doesn't elaborate on how she knows him. When the great black book, Grimoire Noir, brings calamity upon the world. The White Book, Grimoire Vice, will appear with his sealed verses. He will then use them to vanquish Grimoire Noir and purge the calamity he wrought, or so the legend goes. What's a sealed verse? No such records remain, so I can't say for sure. Mm-hmm. But they seem to resemble some form of magic. I don't even know why they bothered telling telling us any of this magic uh, so the song says grimoire vice purchased the world of this calamity right and he does so using these sealed verses oh and you believe the matter i infused in the shrine is one of these sealed verses exactly vice guy hey vice was just some old and if he's real the re do sorry also it appears that then we'll go kill no what an Im so but uh, well it's clear i won't be able to talk you out of this so i've heard the shades are gathering near a village called the airy it's past the bridge on i marked it on maybe you could all right once you arrive he lives in the house got it why is popola cool with us killing a bunch of shades and be careful when shades are humans So goofy seeing this, knowing the twins are just desperately trying to get the Shadow Lord to wait for them to figure out how to fix Project Gestalt. They're really bad at their job. <sighs> so I don't, at least as of now, don't get any of my weapons or words back. Maybe later. I must say that song of the ancients is a rather catchy number. I can see why the bards kept it alive through the eons. Hey, can I ask a favor? I ordered some training weapons from the blacksmith's wife, but they still. Oh, thank you so. M yeah, it's a real toe tapper. Wait, do you even have toes? I don't even know if there's a point to getting any of these side quests if they're all the same. You 
you can save Yonafis, heck, maybe you can save the whole world. Well. Can I, though? I wonder. I guess I won't use you for kindling after all. You really should treat omnipotent magical No zero purpose them. Respect. Okay. The irony of this sentence, though, I know, right? Are these diary entries different? I feel like they are. Uh. Oh look, this fun place hasn't been destroyed yet. There might be some that only show up pre time skip. Yeah, I'm not going for all the quests though, so. This is a weird place for a village. <laughs> How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? Bye. Is anyone even here? We don't trust your kind. That's fair. Is this a fortress? No, it's just a town that was poorly planned. Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about the sealed verses. You just like her, like Kaimi. Well, this appears to be a glorious waste of time. This must be the chief's house. Who goes there? Uh, well, we're... Be gone, strangers. Wait, listen to... Enough. Leave this village at once and never return. What a pathetic bunch of rabble. Well. Right. It would appear there are no powerful shades here. Sealed verses would never be found in such a place. Yeah, let's go talk to Popola and figure out a new plan. Oh, well, I missed. Guess I'll throw that on there. It's all I have. I have no idea if these stack. Oh, that doesn't give an effect anyway.
going into someone's house, stealing their stuff. Nice flowers. Those are Luna Tears, legendary flowers of almost perfect beauty. You're kidding. Those are the ones I told Yona about. Hands off the flowers. Uh, Vice, why is that lady in her underwear? I fear we well, have um... greater issues to deal with. What? <laughs> Wait, is she a shade? There's a drawing of her grandma too. Aw. Son of a bitch. I knew this would happen. <laughs> the scummy's got Victorian sensibility. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not underwear, scummy. Yona scum. This woman is certainly not to be trifled with. Did we get her? Oh, this gross thing is back. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you serious? What the heck is going on here? Something out. What are those? They're babies. Sheets too. I didn't know shades could get that big. The scale of this one is like nothing you've encountered before. Ready or guard. Is her sword work. Let's just focus on defeating this thing. So, like, who is this? This shade. Who who was who was this shade? Cow, perhaps? <laughs> Is 
This one's named Hook, if I recall correctly. Was well, that go with Wendy? Is there one named Peter? This might be the only shade without a tragic backstory. It's kind of just an asshole lizard. <laughs> Bye. Get back here, you. The symbols are disappearing. Huh? <laughs> it had an entire day to move out of the way of that ball. Is she human? This one has been possessed by a shade. She exists as neither fully human nor other. Well. <sighs> I feel bad for treating her like one of those things. We have to help her. <sighs> You're awake. You. I'm sorry we attacked you. We thought you were a shade. Well, you're half right. Now get the hell out of here. Now see here. We made our apologies and came to your aid. The least you can do is grace us with your name. How is she still half a shade if we made her human? It's okay, Vice. Ah, the name. Look, nothing good is gonna happen. Get lost already, would you? Get lost. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. That monster back there. Okay. A Bye. Half human and a giant shade. She's kind of pretty. But she's really intense. The only things that can use magic. Shades, robots, androids, books, and Helen. <laughs> oh, Helen. I'm worried about... I don't know if it matters, but... Well, I tried. There must be a sealed verse inside that enormous shade. I'm certain of it. Maybe. But there's no way we can take that thing I on I might now. need this. I need to get stronger. So we're gonna go check on Yona. And then I guess talk to Popola.
Yona? Yona. Oh, we all go get some. Wait. What is it? Just stop. Don't do anything dangerous. Too late. Too late. You hope this half of the game is more linear. The Next up is Junkie. She let's. Yeah, we gotta go to Popola first. After that, it's junk heap and then going back to the airy, right? One trip to seafront for the shaman fish. The old lady conspiracy. I'm sorry you're sick, but I'm stealing your stuff. Hey, Look, I need it. Hey, it's that what it's a fish that that's up. Oh my god. Oh, no, I gotta talk to her again. Ah, could you gather two medicinal? They usually two medic. Got Thanks. it. <laughs> All right, let's bounce. Uh, so we gotta go to sea front. <sighs> And then maybe the junk keep. Guys, you no. Don't tempt me with your side quests. I have shit to do. If you say no to deleting your save, does it just like go to to ending C? Damn shades, go away! That villager is under attack. Not my problem. Would you truly leave him to perish? Damn it! I mean, I was gonna. Die, you foul beasts! I may have just hit him. I gave, I gave them to Popola. Well, I guess we're using magic then. I gave my healing items to Popola. You can't even get the little one. Useless. Actually, this one. We'll make this one uh, MP cost. A little bit lower. You saved me. Things are getting really here. Take this. Are you give me a sword. I mean, that gives me plus 10% magic, but plus attack power. Yeah. 
tree branch is not really what I was hoping for. I need to buy some health. It's funny. Move. A shout. Hey, but since. the mailbox to heal but that gives me a few in case I need them Jonas comes running around with a shade sword through his chest and the guy gives him another sword yeah thanks Useless. We've got prep. See you later. Huh? Shut sure, I won't do it for now. Oh, you how do you fish? You gotta move the butt here. Yeah. Fishing is a test. Let's head over to that beach, the fish. Wait, is it the other one? The big one? Okay. Look, this is just too much money. Oh, look at them jumping. Majestic. Immediate black pearl. Not me not paying attention to the fishing. Do I just pull? I think you need to move in the Oh, so I don't have to do I not have to hit X? I just have to it's just the stick. opposite direction. There we go. We're all set. Let's get this back to Yona. If you do, oh my god, ma'am, I do not have time. If you do all the fishing side quests, oh my god, ma'am, how can you just that shit? Ma'am, you have no idea what you're in for. You, but you are you. Okay, bye. If you do all the fishing side quests, there's like 10. The old man, of course, decides to die when you turn in the last one. Are you serious? He just like kills over. No, I don't really enjoy fishing in this game. So. I'm not doing that. He's like some old mercenary that apparently nobody in town talks to because he did bad things. The fisherman? Oh my god, is this part of the main quest? Going to the post office? Oh, 
When you go to turn the last one, a guy's there tells you you died, of course. To, or most games. Yeah, I don't I don't hate the fishing in Stardew. I don't think it's too bad, but this one's like just kind of tedious and I don't hear the crow. They call what Shut up, I know where she is. If you fail to get the shaman fish enough times, it fades to black and says something ridiculous time like 10 hours later and it just gives you one. <laughs> How SpongeBob of it. I mean, at least that's nice. If you are really bad at the fishing mini game, it'll, it won't stop you from progressing. You did a lot in three houses. I did in three houses because it let you get your professor level up. Um, which was really helpful. It was fine. It was mostly a rhythm game in three oh, houses. Uh, like, it's not my favorite. I think Stardew is still better. But, okay, can I leave now? It did make Flane happy. We okay. Now we can GTFO. Go give this to Yona. Engage is fucking awful fishing. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you right now, Great Destroyer. I forgot that Engage had fishing. So... That's how little I did it. Tons of work for crap rewards. Yeah. Life's too short, you know? As much as I love being a completionist with games, th there, there's definitely a, a, a line. And then once it crosses that line, I have no fucks left to give. You know? And I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Getting all the achievements in this game is a struggle. Oh, I believe it, Lucy. Do you have to upgrade all the weapons for that? Or get all the words? I think you tried it once. I think you're right, Great Sir. I think I did it once and engaged, and I was like, nah. Nah. What was it like? I don't even remember. That's how little I did it. <laughs> I probably did it when it was introduced, was like, I don't like this, and then never did it again. I think that's what happened. For all the achievements, you have to upgrade all the weapons. Oh my god, catch all the fish. Breed a lunar tier, which requires days of gardening. Nope, 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 I'm out. Lucy, did you do this? <laughs> I think Three Houses Fishing Minigame is the best one. I would probably say Stardew is for me, but uh, Three Houses wasn't too bad. I mean, if you don't like rhythm games, you probably would hate it, but it wasn't too terrible. It's not, but it's not something that I would just do. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be like, yeah, I want to have some fun doing this. Like, at least it let you upgrade your professor level. That was a nice... Wait, do I just give this to Yona? That was a nice, uh... Reward. The Lunar Tier is 100% heal. Cult of the Lamb is okay, too. It's very Stardew. I haven't played Cult of the Lamb in a while. It's hey, I got you a fish. That's what I like. You want to eat it raw? You'd rather suffer through engage a story or fate's supports than 100% anything in this game, crap. Morning. Hey, 
how you feeling? Better. That's that's hey. Oh, I oh, but real good. Any okay, bye. Wait. Oh, I think this is just the quest. Maybe. Hey. Oh, really? You did all the quests too, even if it wasn't necessary. Lucy. Are you okay? Is there something you want Are you okay, Lucy? No, 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 nothing at all. Look, I know Yona's not a four-star chef or anything, but she puts her heart into it. Only a real jerk wouldn't appreciate the effort. What kind of brother do you think I am? Did you hear me imply anything of the sort? I guess not. Just, well, good luck. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Oh. What's it's that's I'm. You know if you intro. Oh, I think uh, if you that's good. Go to the tavern. Do you even get stuff for completing side quests? You get money usually. Yeah, occasionally you get a weapon which you need for what is it? Ending C. You need all the weapons. Um, but yeah, it's usually just money. Um, a lot of them, like you get story for some of them that's interesting, but some of them are just like nothing and not worth doing. The fish quests basically upgrade your fishing, make it easier. Makes sense. Hey, babe, want, uh, I'd come back. Go to the shop in the junk heap. Okay, bye. Like, uh, some of the money you literally use to buy other things for other quests. <laughs> If you don't feel like, you know, getting certain items or materials. Although you can't buy everything. So, some materials you just have to struggle and suffer for. Like when we were trying to get all the wolf pelts. What do you know about this junkie? I guess there are ancient ruins buried there? It's full of old scrap and other weird stuff that no one understands. To get there, we I have know to there's cross a robot the there named Beepy. The Popolis says these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time in the old world. Humans certainly were wise back then. I don't know. If they were so smart, why did we end up like this? Should have let that dude's wife divorce him instead of getting the wolf pelt? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. basically made the machines in Automata gain free will and half caused that game. Scummy didn't finish the job, I guess. Oh, hey, you're alive. Isn't that fun? I have news for you. Hey, the oh, it's my seafood. Folks, it's so powerful. I so well no you I and well it's so well you can got here's a and be three titanium alloys oh fine Jacob why don't you live and let your terrible brother die these are the real questions
love watching people play this game because everyone ends up despising Gideon and it's so funny. Aye, it is bright in here. Looks like the ancient machinery is still working. Not that we have any idea how it works. Ruins from ancient times, patrolled for eons by unstoppable machines. Yeah, and I bet they're full of rare materials. This place is hardly befitting one of my grand stature. You sure do like to complain, Vice. I miss being OP. I do not like being nerfed. Speaking of lore in books, apparently Jacob's an abusive asshole that does it to make Gideon dependent on him. Does what? Oh, I need three titanium alloys. Get out of the doorway. The abuse to make him, to make Gideon dependent on him? It's pretty rough in here. Yes, hardly suitable I mean, I assumed he was dependent on him because he was a little child. I'm and they, the their mother left. His share of their food to his brother. Shut in. All right. <laughs> Crap. You assume Jacob is the only okay person in this world? I don't. I think Yona might be the only okay person. Kaine's grandma. I mean, she's dead, but. Yona did drop the cookie, though. That is pretty upsetting. Jacob considers crippling Gideon to keep him from looking for their mom in the demonic mountain. Oh my gosh. Well, that's extreme. Yeah, Emil, it, Emil is perfect, even though he definitely petrified people. That wasn't his fault. Emil is a sweet baby angel. Never did anything wrong. Can you guys die already?
Emil may have killed a town full of people, but it wasn't his fault. Also, it was the area anyway. Listen. I support Emil. Okay, we got one titanium alloy, finally. Aha! There's two. So we only need three, right? Yeah. Thank goodness. I just need one more. I love that after they can fix the petrification, they just don't for all the people. I know, I thought that would be maybe a quest or, or just something we could choose to do. But no, it was not. It'd be pretty dandy if you guys dropped what I need. I'm just saying. Maybe there's a time limit where the person, when they're petrified, well, kind of was petrified for like five years. Maybe, but they don't even address it. They're not even like, man, I wish we could, I wish we could save those people. It's just like, oh, they're just, they're just decoration now. Yay! Let's get out of here. You ever wish you could just warp back to the client after you get their stuff? Whoa. Yep. Yeah, it's apparently a kind of all the time. You to faraway places in an instant. Ah, that one. Well, I would stay away from such. Devilry were I you, lad. How come? Because all of the sages who attempted said spell were reduced to mincemeat when they struck obstacles in their path. Uh, wow. All right then. Walking it is. An excellent choice. Shut up, Gideon. No one likes you. Oh, help me. Oh, no. Here he is. Oh, is every I'm We just Yeah. Please. Oh, don't you don't Do you want me to break his legs? I know oh, you were thinking about it. need to use the elevator. Um it says that they upgraded, I guess this one. Eh. Oh, now I have to search for their mom. Mom, oh, 
Need some work done on your weapon? Well, come back. Wait, do we need to use... said their mom would be somewhere deep inside the mountain, right? If I may ask, what is it that possesses you to meddle in the affairs of these children? Yona and I both know what it feels like to miss your mother. Can we go this way? No mention of his father, though. Yeah, what happened to their father? Something horrific, I'm sure. He died when Yona was a baby, worked in Seafront, died during his commute. I meant, I meant Gideon and Jacob's father. Go away. Leave me be. Getting in that cardio. You can't possibly believe their mother managed to fight her way down here. For that matter, that she has been collecting scrap metal for a solid week. Oh, 
Open your eyes, lad. The woman is clearly... She's alive. Wow. Miracles don't happen if you don't believe in them, okay? Miracles. Miracle in this world, sure. Open the door and spoiled the boss arena. Alert, alert. Intruder detected. It's malfunctioning. Yeah, this might be a problem. No, not Master Hand. Don't let yourself be crushed. Oh, you think? Thanks, Vice. I never would have I never would have known if you hadn't said it. Keep an eye on the shadows. Yeah, I hear. Oh, what happened? Oh, what a troublesome piece of machinery. Come on, now what? Clear them all out. That's the only way. Do you feel like Vice would be a huge Redditor? I mean... I feel like he would want to start a podcast, but would have no idea how any of it worked. So he just wouldn't be able to. The easy username would be his full name. Yep. This thing's got all kinds of moves. Is that oversized head? 
No mere machine can defy us. Stay focused, Vice. These chambers are loaded with bombs. It's I'm not. Unbelievable. Such an obvious weak point. Oh my god. Have I heard that plan before? Really, scum? I think it still took damage. Oh, maybe it did when the first one blew up. I guess it got close enough. It's a woman, and she's dead. I fear we have so mm. this. Why? It would see. Oh, so what? What's that? Kill <laughs> womp womp. Womp womp. Okay. Oh, hey, your mom's dead. Where's... She's in heaven now. She's... What? It's... I don't believe... Well... Do you... You don't believe me? You think she's in hell? Did she... Die alone? Uh, it's just... No. Weird. Okay, come... Mom, what I think... Are... I mean... We... Here's her perfume. This is mom's perfume. For some Damn reason. It, get it. Safe. Your action. Okay, goodbye. You're sh <laughs> sure he'll get over it in five years or so? I mean, I. Mm. <laughs> All right, go check up on the airy. This is our next quest. Let's visit the Airy. They've got shades there. Indeed. And we may just find a sealed verse besides. Why did you not just jump down? I love when you're pushing down on the controller and he just keeps going up because of the camera change. Shades. Of course. I'd be stupid not to. But I have to save Yona, no matter what. I see. Then I won't try to stop you. You're a pretty good listener for such an old-timer, Vice. Ah, I should be offended. Missed opportunity to lie and make it things worse. <laughs>
Shades. The hell are you doing here? We thought you could use a hand. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yes, and I do believe a heartfelt thank you is in order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's not happening. It's up. What could have caused these shades to appear in such force? I don't know, but they're all over the village, too. Then we need to go help. We might be able to find a sealed verse while we're at it. She's like, what? What are you talking about? Defeat the shades. Well, we did that, so. Ah, more friends. You're not even gonna heal me? That's bullshit. <laughs> oh good, he's back. wild that it wouldn't let me save before this but all right keep your guard raised as if there were any other choice rot in hell you fucking asshole uh did you just say what i think you said Tear out your goddamn eyes and piss in the sockets! Good sweet lord! I have never heard such a thing. Really? You, you clearly don't have Twitter. You just got someone's house. I'll take care of the big one. You worry about the rest. <laughs> Aight. You guys shaved? Leave us in peace. Oh. Not the friendliest town in the world, is it? You disgust me. You disgust us all. Okay. Don't 
You dare call yourself human? Get out! Get out of our village! What is wrong with you people? She's trying to help you! Don't defend me! Oh, this thing. Yeah, this thing's back. saying such horrible things about you. Whatever. It's all true anyway. Is there shit? What is that thing it's holding? It appears to be spewing them from within. Well, whatever it is. Okay, why are you throwing up first. babies though? Just a question. They're not shades, they're gestalts fused with replicants. They only become shades when they relapse. Are they fully fused though? So are they human? Damn it! Quit running already! Kaine, I'll drive him to you. Get up there and wait for him. Alright, watch yourself. Dude. Look, man, I'm doing shit. Leave me alone. This ends now, asshole. We should join her. Right. The other way. Escape us no longer. It's great to have you on our side, Kaine. Oh, my God, shut up. 
Hey, I delete a save file for you, Kaine. Just, just try and keep up, okay? I'm doing my best. That's not love. I don't know what is. Oh my god. You see kind of gets stuck. Okay, now, how is Grandma oh, talking? How you've grown. Kaine, what's wrong? Oh, it gladdens my heart to finally see you again. Grandma? Come, Kaine. Come to your grandma's side. Like I said, the you shade's an asshole. So somehow the so, shade can replicate so Grandma's voice. So much pain. And also, so like, knows... But that's a Why go on emotional anymore? point for Kaine? How does that work? Kaine? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Are you finished yet? Don't speak to your grandma like... You're going to stop talking now. And then I'm going to slowly walk over to you. Cram my hand inside your goddamn bitch-ass chest. And pull out your fucking heart! <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never. I've spent my entire life searching for a way to avenge her death. She gave me the strength um, to deal with this goddamn mutant body. All right. Do you know how long I've been like this? How much I loathe myself? A last desperate offensive, I see. That attack's bad news. Well, Oh my god.
we go. I think she intends to perish where she lies. I still, how the fuck did and she get over truth, there? Perhaps death Sorry is if you can hear me cracking my knuckles. That's not your decision. Hmm. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's a life. She has meaning and worth, and we're going to save her. Well, everyone has something to live for, even Kaine, even Yona. Perhaps you well, should save your pretty words scum. for her instead of wasting them on me. Hey, Alpha Lion. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Grandma, can I rest now? I'm so tired. He's really good at flying around this town while unconscious. She does just sort of zip all over the place. Kaine, over here! Don't give up! You're stronger than that! Don't you dare give up now! This woman is more trouble than she's worth. That's it. Come on! Kaine has returned to her default costume? Thanks for telling me, I guess? Again. There's that dream again. I've been having these strange thoughts lately. Every time I wake up from it filled with pain and sadness. With this feeling like I've somehow forgotten something extremely important. When I look at my broken sword... It reminds me of my battle with the Shadow Lord. Somehow it's been three whole years since I saved Yona. That was supposed to be it. Goal achieved. Game over. Game over. Save deleted. So then, why was I crying? Three years have passed, and I still haven't found the answer to that question. Exactly the restful sleep I was hoping for. Damn it.
Guess I'll go kill some shit. Emil. Oh, she got a staff. This means Emil's still dead in this timeline. Okay. So we do have some magic. Whoa! Yeah! Check this out. I'm doing flips. Defeat the shades in the northern plains. All right. Kinda can understand the shades though, right? <laughs> She's still killing them. You may want to look at the name of Kaine's magic. <laughs> Whirling fuck slash? Charging fuck slash. Rotate at high speeds and slash everything in the area like a fuck. Quickly charge forward and slash like a fuck. She doesn't get to hear their dying scream. What level are we? Oh, level 37, all right. 999 attack power. Oh, he's not a part of her anymore, so she can't understand them anymore. I didn't realize that the reason she could understand them was him. That makes sense, though. Maybe I should check in on Yona's village. Naruto, run! Wait, do we still have Dimitri? No. What's going on over here? For the save. Shades have been on the rise around here lately. Now go home. Oh, believe me, I want to. Thing is, I've got a job to take care of. See, we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone in the Forest of Myth. That's okay. Somebody's got to go over there and make sure they're all right. No. And that someone is you. You will make it ten feet before some shade mauls your ass. I'll go. Damn it. What? Really? Oh, man. Thanks a million. Oh, wait. You should take these. I'll wait for you around here. And thanks again. Why would you wait here when there are shades here? Why wouldn't you just take a couple steps and go into the village? Can you still visit Yona? Does she know why Popola and Devil are dead? I mean, you probably can. Anybody home? A new save file has been unlocked. 
Your save data at this point will be temporarily unusable. Okay. Oh. Oh. Shit. Um What are those things doing here? Wait. Did they kill the villagers? I destroy this. They come no. on more. Ugh, they just keep on coming. Why would robots be coming out of a place like that? Rip Mayor? Yeah, all that hard work we did. Robots suddenly emerged from the divine tree. On the flop. The hell's going on here? What's a place like this doing inside a tree? Didn't Popolo say something about a tree? The hub? understand a damn thing you're saying. Observations of you have been recorded as well. You brought an end to Project Gestalt. You killed the original Gestalt. Now the remaining Gestalts run wild because they have nowhere left to go. Your actions have caused the deaths of countless replicants. Show your damn faces already! Do not be hasty. Soon we shall meet. Soon we shall meet.
Hmm. Oh. I can't preemptively kill them? Oh. Deku tree sucks. Where's the slingshot? You're giving me stuff. That doesn't bode well. Yona and Scummy, maybe? Oh, how nice of you to join us. Yes, how nice of you to join us. <laughs> we are <laughs> the Kind of is like, doesn't even bother. Not BB. Yeah, what? What the hell are you saying? We are the administrators. What the sweet crap is up with these freaks? Good question. Great. Son of a... Are those things me? If you could do that, couldn't you make more replicants? If you wanted me to 
follow any of this, you're gonna be real fucking disappointed. Your comprehension is unnecessary. So, are these two their own characters, or are they supposed to be some version of Scummy and Yona? Tear these freaks apart, eat the pieces, and shit them into a trash can! Fucking hell. from meal you betcha anyhow <laughs> it's good to see you safe oh, what that's a lot of arms <clears throat> yeah D I sense tremendous why does he have extra arms magic circle I think it's acting as an energy source. If we can destroy it, all the other kinase should disappear too. Got it. I'll take care of the magic circle. You focus on kicking some kinase butt. Uh, I mean, the other kinase butts, not your kinase butt. You, the real kinase. Yeah, I get it, Emil. Just focus. More arms means more magic. I'm just. Where'd he get him? Where'd he get this body? He was just ahead. Um, who is that? What are those voices? Just a couple of little fucks. Just a couple of little fucks. What a dream voice roll to just be able to constantly be swearing. Gosh, it feels like it's been forever since we fought together. Right? This seems I think there was someone else who used to fight with us. My memory is it. Unusual phenomenal fluctuation observed. Singularity signature detected in Rebel and Kanye. Singularity signature. Fascinating. Okay, Muriel. Good job, Spider Emil. Is that a doorway? Don't know about these robot kids, but they're supposed they to resemble 2B and 9S, even though they're not connected lost. to them or androids at all. Well, well <laughs> why? I kind of thought they were supposed to be referencing at least Scummy being, you know, the whole Shadow Lord or whatever. Whoa! What is this place? At least there don't seem to be any bad guys around. Emil, I didn't get a chance to ask yet with all the fighting and shit, but what happened to you back then? Where what happened you to your been? body? And why the hell do you have four arms? 
Kaine, that I, asking look, the good questions. It's gonna take way too long to get into all that now. Fine. I was worried, you know. Oh, Kaine. But look at us now. Team Camille back together again. Yeah, I guess so. Singularities are something that can branch the timeline. More important in Drakengard 3. Hmm. It, but it's like my mind is filled with this weird fog. I think I made a promise to somebody? Like that we would go eat something delicious? <laughs> well then, we'll just have to get those memories back. Yeah. I'll just have to uncover my save file. magical power ahead just don't do anything rash got it got it same goes for you kaine i don't want to be alone anymore yeah how does he become a head again for automata what happens to his arms mm, i should get these Shadow Lord's castle? Mm, sure Kine, looks like it. I'm sensing some powerful magic up ahead. Great. Is there a mailbox? <sighs> this is a very special place. To you and to the world. Okay. and who dies that voice it's the one from my dreams i've heard that voice before these are your memories we made it this far because you were with us kane damn it what is this do you suffer Is this sweet memories from deep within hidden memories that were sealed away 
needed Kaine and Automata to talk to Nines. Yeah, very, very much uh, Nines's. Shades. The HUD changed to Automata style. Yeah. I have not understood a single fucking thing you shitty little ass grabbers have said since we started this goddamn adventure. Where are their little cubes? We are incomplete, but our friends make us whole. It's Gretel! My question is, why do we have to do the first chunk? We are mocked, abused, and hated, but our friends keep us strong. Why do we have to do the first chunk of the... of a new file of the game? And it was all the same. To be like, oh, that was just a dream. It's like, uh, I don't know, it felt like not... nonsense. <laughs> Not stand in the way of our lives. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I kill shades. That's all there is to it. It's just data, Kaine. It's fine. All that was just for the scene where Scummy reaches out for Kaine and then vanish. <laughs> I'll kill you as many times as it takes. You goddamn shit fucking despicable piece of garbage! It's data, just throw them in the recycling bin.
I guess to trick you into it's just starting fresh and you get the twist, I guess. I, I mean, I would have just assumed the game was over. I don't think I would have restarted, though, if I didn't know. Also, would have been kind of pissed if I had done a bunch of side quests, if I had, like, restarted. And it was pointless. Like, imagine if you had just started over, like, you thought you were done, and then, you know, you revisit the game, like, I don't know, a year or two later, and you start a new file, and then that shit happens after you do a bunch of pointless side quests. Yeah, that. Yes, crab it is. Please just shut up. Fuck. This is bad. Nothing I can do. Yeah, Crab, it's definitely the same one because I absolutely hated that part, so I remember it vividly. When Kainu's eyes flutter open, she sees a dozen villagers quizzically staring back. After a moment, she realizes she's collapsed on the ground where sharp stones dig, in, dig at her flesh. Like, whatever, that's not important now. She pulls herself to a knee before rising on unsteady feet and sparing a glance at her surroundings. The fuck, she mutters, what happened? Wasn't I just fighting shades? Her mind races as her hand gropes unconsciously for the blade that has been her constant companion for so very long. Though she can't explain it, it's clear she has somehow been transported to an entirely new world. Well, not entirely new, she recognizes the hawk-shaped weather vane twisting slowly in the wind above her, as well as the small round homes with wisps of smoke drifting into the air, and of course, there are villagers currently staring at her with a mixture of fear and disgust. Oh yes, they're a familiar sight indeed. She is in the airy. She is home. Something the matter, girl? Kainai spins around at the voice and sees a woman ravaged by time. Her narrow hips barely seem strong enough to hold her body upright while the shawl wrapped around her thin frame appears ready to fall apart at any moment. Grandma, is that really you? Her grandmother's eyes grow almost comically wide before blinking several times in succession. What's wrong, you fool girl? Is your head lost in dreams? Dreams? Could this be a dream? But it feels so real. But she's dead. Grandma's dead. I watched that goddamn shade kill her. So if this isn't a dream, how the hell is she here? Unless those shades killed me too. That must be it. I'm dead. I'm dead and this is hell. Oh, stop with that nonsense already. Kainé flinches as her grandmother raises a hand in the air, expecting pain to come as correction for her foolishness. But instead of a blow, her grandmother simply places the hand on her granddaughter's cheek. The warmth of it instantly spreads from her cheek to her face before filling her entire body with a kind of beautiful light. What's wrong, girl? Asks her grandmother. Are you upset? Do you want to go home? Kaine feels tears coming to her eyes and struggles to hold them back. Though she still has no idea what is happening, she knows one thing for certain. This is her grandmother. Sorry, grandma. Not sure where my head was at there. Well, just make sure you keep it attached. Her grandmother chuckles as she pulls her hand away. Maybe this is a dream, or maybe I'm already dead. I don't know. But either way, I'm not alone. As long as Grandma's with me, that's enough. Didn't I just tell you to stop spacing out, girl? Her grandmother says with a cackle. Here now, hold this. 
She hands Kaine a large sack filled to bursting with all manner of fruits and vegetables. Dang, damn, Grandma, this is a lot. Well, it's important to treat yourself every now and again. Sides, these villagers may hate us, but the bastards are more than willing to take our money. We'll lend support as we can, even if they have to hold their noses while we do it. Her grandmother trails off as if trying to remember something, then slowly turns around. Well, what do you know? In all the excitement, I forgot to buy my medicine. A thin smile wavers on her face for a moment before vanishing into a lifetime's worth of crevices and wrinkles, causing Kaine to take a concerned step forward. No, Grandma, that's fine. You go home and rest. I'll get the medicine. Her grandmother hesitates, clearly trying to weigh her own need for rest against her granddaughter's odd behavior of a moment before. Before she can start to argue, Kaine ch charges ahead, ignoring the small voice in her head that's telling her what a bad idea all of this is. Really, Grandma? It's fine. Go home. I've got this. She pulls her grandmother's ancient wallet from her fingers, an act that requires a surprising amount of strength. Besides, you know how stubborn I am. Once my mind is set, there's no changing it. Huh. Wonder where you get that from. Seeing that further argument will be useless, her grandmother slowly turns and begins the long journey home. Kaine watches the figure recede from her vision, waiting for what seems an eternity to ensure everything is all right. Once the frail shadow finally vanishes over the horizon, she turns on a heel and makes for the apothecary. Oh my god. Text adventure. Yeah, did they just copy and paste this from the book? Didn't you guys say this ending was from the book? Were they like, well, we could make this part we could we could do a cutscene or, you know, do gameplay or a flashback, but instead we'll just copy paste. We get an actual backdrop and it's the airy, I know, right? Ho oh, there, says the elderly apothecary as Kaini enters the store. Here for Kali's medicine, are you? Though few villagers had ever bothered to learn her grandmother's name, she and the apothecary were old friends. Perhaps that was the reason he'd always showed her kindness when so many others did not. <laughs> they couldn't possibly model a grandma. Uh, yeah, if it's not a bother. The shopkeeper immediately sets about his work, deftly pulling bottles and herbs from the shelves and mixing them with a practice hand. Soon a peculiar smell begins to drift through the store, one that immediately reminds Kine of her childhood. There you are, says the apothecary as he holds out a small cloth bag. Sorry for the wait. Oh, and say, there's a fine portrait you drew of your grandmother. Looks just like her, so it does. Honestly, I've never seen Kali so over the moon about anything. About anything. She brags about it every time she stops by. You saw that, says Kaine, her eyes narrowing. Said portrait was something she had whipped up one day after getting her hands on some crayons. And to call it rough would be an act of purest generosity. The idea her grandmother was displaying it around town makes Kaine's stomach want to sink down to her feet before slinking off into a hole somewhere. You bet I saw it, the pleased apothecary says. She brought it all the way here just to show me. My, but it's been a long time since I've seen something so wonderful. Possibly it was pretty shit. What, the book? Kaine's mind begins to whirl. The picture was shit. She was sure it was shit. And yet, the man's reaction displayed the exact opposite opinion. Is he just being nice to me? Oh, her drawing. The apothecary, as if sensing her skepticism, doubles down. I can really tell you put your heart into it. It was simply wonderful. Um, thanks, offers Kaine. We already, like, heard the story. <laughs> Who just wants the entire conversation to be over? She briefly considers how she's going to make her grandmother cease her little traveling art show, but then realizes that train has like likely left the station. Shaking her head to banish her increasingly shrill thoughts, she grips the bag of medicine tightly and turns to leave, but just as she reaches the door, she hears a loud thud from somewhere back in the shop. He's fucking dead. Kaine turns around to see the apothecary crouching on the floor. Uh, hey there, you okay? Oh, we're back to the void. When the man does not reply, Kaine moves toward him. She assumes he just slipped on something or perhaps hit his head on one of the low-hanging shelves in the crowded shop. But the moment she draws close to him, she hears him begin to scream inside her mind. My leg, my leg, my leg, my leg. Oh, he's the fish from SpongeBob. Oh, God, where is my leg? Panicked, Kaine looks down and discovers that the, man the man's leg is gone. Help me, he screams the voice in her head. Help me. As Kaine looks on in horror, the man's fingers begin to shimmer and vanish. He reaches out for her with his other hand, only to find that it too is no longer there. Soon his arms go. Then his legs. Well, his, well, his one leg was already gone. 
So wouldn't it be then his other leg? Then the side of his face warbles out of existence, causing a stray eyeball to roll out of its socket and onto the floor. Heal, says the voice, if it could even be called that anymore. I can. A moment later, what remains of the pitiful shopkeeper collapses into a heap of ash, releasing a small puff into the suddenly silent air. He got thanos <laughs> Thanos snapped. As Kaine stumbles back in horror, she hears a cacophony of terror rising up outside. Oh God, what's happening? My arms, where are my arms? Why can't I see? Kaine bursts out of the store and finds herself in a nightmare. Home slough, home slough? Off of the sides of cliffs, taking out pieces of scaffolding as they fall, screams echo out everywhere, creating an, an opera fit for hell. So it's just like Raphael's song, I guess, from Baldur's Gate 3, just picture that. Villagers run in mad circles before exploding <laughs> before exploding into dust, their clothing drifting this way and that as it floats untethered through the air. As she stares at the scene wide-eyed, a single thought suddenly inserts itself into the forefront of her mind. Grandma! Kanye breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stones to cross a world that is increasingly losing cohesion. As she continues her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face, her mouth, her eyes, ash, 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 buildings and people all reduced to so many cinders in the wind. Soon she arrives at her, at her childhood home. It was once a place filled of precious memories, a place she regarded as an oasis in an increasingly mad world, but now it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gapes unbelievingly at the sight, a faint sound suddenly reaches her ears. Kaine... She's alive. Grandma's alive. Well, with a speed born out of panic, she leaps into the giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and burns her lungs. But she continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small blackened form out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma, she whispers. We're getting out of here. Without waiting for a response, Kaine gathers her grandmother into her arms and breaks into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the wave of ash has become a tsunami, and before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kaine stumbles and falls, sending her and her grandmother tumbling into the ashes. One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me, mutters Kaine as she slings her grandmother over her shoulder and begins to crawl away. We're going to make it. We're going to live. As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter, as if trying to magically reduce the weight of her own burden. As, and as Kaine continues to struggle, she hears a small, soft voice enter her ear. Thank you, Kaine. Thank you. As the voice drifts away, the last of the pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on a soft breeze. Kaine screams an impossibly sad and lonely sound and begins to try to pull the ashes back to her. This can't be happening. It can't be happening. But the ashes are mingled with all the other... Det detritus? Sure. From the collapsed village, and soon she can no longer tell which particles belong to who. Come on, come on. Come the fuck on already. As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a piece of soft, ragged fabric, her grandmother's shawl. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it, and I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't save anyone. I couldn't even escape. I just felt the peace in the place, and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there's nothing here. No reason to live. No goal. No anything. So this is why I'm say suddenly a new voice enters kaine's world say, can you hear me after a moment the voice calls out again louder now clearer then, you wish to get him back hmm? him replied kaine who are you talking about oh, for the love of all the heavens i always did know you were a handful detritus usually means dirt or slop fair enough Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerves, there is something else as well, a kind of warmth, almost a familiarity. Are you truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? Says the voice, which causes something deep in Kaine's memories to surge forth. Why was Vice forgotten? That's right, I had friends, and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realization, a blinding radiant beam of light shoots out across the ash-covered world. Covering her eyes with one trembling hand, Kaine reaches Do for it. Hurry back now, hussy.
Bye. Bye. What is the matter? Do you still not remember? You have not time to become lost in your thoughts. I thought that he was gonna like <laughs> smack Vice and send him Let's flying. Get back. Okay, so now I have Vice's powers, I'm assuming. Power of Grimoire Vice grants you the use of magic. Use my magic to topple the beast. I presume you know how to use magic, yes? And give us a show, hussy. I'll need your help to take out this goddamn fuck waffle. I don't know, Vice. Your magic isn't doing to shit. The down with magic. Well done. Now clobber the beast. Let's fuck it up good. Shit, this thing is tough. Let the next onslaught be our last. Hey, Vice. Yes. Thanks. Have you been in your cups again? Fuck your face. Ah, that's more like it. What you are attempting is extremely... Cram it, Book. I'm doing this. <sighs> I see. Pair. Time to close this out. Yeah, I'm not. I am not, Vice. I did the whole game with them together, no scummy. I think there would have been a lot more arguing if that were the case. Might not have lost his memories. I mean, true. He might not have. Oh man, I was hoping taking out a bunch of them would mean less of less of them in this phase. But I 
don't think that's the case. Shut up! I already made up my mind. Nobody tells me what to do. I swore I would be a sword. I swore that I would be your sword. Do you hear me? So I am going to get you back, and I don't care what it takes. Who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that, huh? I'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me. It's my life! and I'll do whatever I want with it. So quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit and get your ass back here now! You like how one of her cherished memories is beating him up? Do you want to recover the person you cherish? <laughs> no. Again, would love to do that, but way too scared of having to redo any of this. If you choose this option, your current save data will be erased and the save data deleted in ending D will be restored. I, I guess. I don't know why I would say no. Once your save data has been restored, this save data will be erased. So you can only choose this option once. Are you really sure? Are you really sure about this? Is the name of the person you cherish? Crab, my opinion at this point was I'm un uninstalling the game after this anyway. The correct name was entered. All save files will be restored. I don't know what the point of saying no would be in this instance.
Oh good, my my fishing records are restored. Thank goodness. I leave the rest to you, Hussy. I know. I was like, oh, those are his final words, huh? Emil! Our journey may have been meaningless. Our Is past he naked? may have been a mistake. But we're not going back. Even if this world comes to an end. Because this... This is the world with the people we cherish. Sure. Why not? Why is he... Why is he not time skip scummy? What? Where did the flower come from? It's a new replicant? Somehow without the guest shell? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> sure. Well, there you go. The real ending. Overall, I enjoyed the game. My biggest gripes are text adventure and grinding or like drops for stuff. and having to redo the beginning of the game for this ending. <laughs> those are my those are my graves. Uh also Emil is best boy and did nothing wrong. Assume kind of like in Soma, the replicant is based on a copy of the Shadow Lord, so when there's a new one, it's exactly like how it was when it was copied. Tree has the replicant data stored basically, so they make a new scummy, which only has the young version. But does he have any of his memories? Like, is he the same one? Because if not, what was the point? I would assume he is, because it restores the save. The tree basically stores all the data from the old world, and I guess new world. From what I understand, she got the tree to recreate Scummy's replicant from when they met, but with all his memories. Okay. Weird that they didn't have any data of him after the time skip. Because Scummy is a replicant of the original Gestalt, he won't get the Black Scrawl. Finally got my Twitch to catch up on- to catch up to the stream and it's over. It is over. You missed it. Scummy was reborn in a giant flower. And he was naked. You're welcome. The end. <laughs>
okay. I like that we got to play for uh, play as Kaine for five minutes. I kind of wish we would have just gotten to play as Kaine from the beginning of this section, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, overall it was fun. I can't really say if I enjoyed this or Automata more simply because it's been so long since I played Automata. Uh, so it's it's a little hard to compare. As good as the music is in this, I feel like I, I like Automata's soundtrack better. Um, but this one's still very good. I like that Emil gets to be a little car in Automata. <laughs> I have greater appreciation for Emil. I guess I'm leaving this game loving Emil more. It is a very similar to Shadow of the Colossus in a lot of ways. Which is interesting. I guess I'm also leaving this game with a dislike of Popola and Def <laughs> More of a dislike, just like everyone else, apparently. Your internet crapped out, you missed the secret ending? Oh, Tim. Scummy was reborn as young Scummy in a flower, and he was naked. You're welcome. That's all you really need to know. Oh, yes, this, this trophy. I, all right. Visit that woman's house to acquire a new weapon. What? We got a new screen, though. It's all their weapons. A parting greeting. All right. Is everybody here? Present and accounted for. You betcha. Sure. All right, then. <clears throat> Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Thank, Thank you, you for playing. playing. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, Yona, why aren't you in bed? Oh, hey. It's my big, big brother. I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to miss this. Try and take it easy on her, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't turn down a request from your adorable little sister, would ya? Popola, Devola. You're here, too? <laughs> Looks like you're having yourself a grand old time, sunshine! Okay, who was that? Shut up, Tyrion. You'll just make things complicated. We haven't all the time in the world, hmm? Let us finish what we came here to do. So, it's really gonna be over, huh? Does that make anyone else feel sad? We have to say goodbye eventually. But hey, I'm sure we'll meet again. You really think so? I'm getting hungry over here. Want to hurry this up? All right. Once again, from the top. Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Ready? Ready? One, two, thank, thank you, you for playing. playing.